Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to sync speed ramps with a song using just one clip. Let's get started. First let's mark all the beat drops. Double press L on your keyboard to reveal the music waveform. Now that we can see all the beat drops, we can mark them by pressing asterisk on the keyboard. Once we're done marking, we can close the waveform and start with the speed ramps. Right click on the clip, go to time and select enable time remapping. Now by moving this time forward, we can set the beginning of the speed ramp. Let's say I want my speed ramp to start from this point. So now let's jump to a next beat drop. You can press K on a keyboard to fast jump there. Now let's do the same thing, move this time forward and simply do the same thing on all beat drops. For example, on this beat drop, I want my speed ramp to go in reverse. So instead of moving the time forward, I'll move it backward. Then let's jump to another marker and move the time forward. Jump to the next beat and do the same. For the last marker, I'll go in reverse once more. Finally let's go to the end and maybe make that speed ramp reverse again. Once we're done, select all the keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to the graph editor, right click here and choose edit value graph, and create a smooth curve. Those three curves are in reverse, which is why some go higher and some go lower. I'll adjust the curve without speeding up the video, so you can see it properly. Let's quickly check it. Everything looks good and is synced with the music beats, so the last step left is stabilization. First let's enable frame blending. Click here twice until you see an arrow. Now we can stabilize the video, but first pre-compose the layer. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected and then hit OK. Make sure you're at the beginning of the layer, then pre-compose it again. Just make sure that those settings are selected and then hit OK. Now double-click the pre-composed layer to go inside it. Now select the layer and click on track camera, and wait for the analysis to finish. Once it's done, select the tracking points where you want to lock and stabilize. In my case, I'll lock onto the car's taillight, which means I'll select all the tracking points right there. Now right-click and select create solid and camera. First, let's correct the rotation of the solid. Then press S on the keyboard and reduce the scale until the solid becomes very small. I'll also scroll through the video to check if the solid is properly tracked and remains visible until the end. As you can see, it needs to be fixed, otherwise the stabilization will mess up because the solid isn't visible at that point. I'll adjust the rotation until the solid is visible, then check the video again. Now everything looks fine to me. So make sure to toggle off your clip now and then select all the layers here and pre-compose them. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected and hit OK. Now scroll to the very beginning and then click on stabilize motion. Make the track point slightly larger and drag it onto the solid. To avoid jitters and tracking issues, I'll increase the track point size a bit more, then let's click on options here. Make sure RGB is selected and then check adapt feature on every frame and hit OK. Now click on analyze forward button and wait until it's done. Once it's finished, click apply and then hit OK. Let's close tracking window and then double click on pre-composed layer. Toggle off track solid and toggle back on your clip. Now we can completely close that pre-compose and then check the stabilization. The footage is stabilized and looks smooth. All that's left is to fix the black edges, then lock the tail light at the center of the screen. First I'll enable the proportional grid, it helps us see the exact center of the screen. To avoid the black edges, I'll scale the video until they disappear. Now let's simply drag the video until the tail light is centered. Let's check the video. Everything looks good to me. We can now close the pre-compose tab as well and check the final result with the music. And we're done. To make the speed ramp even better, you should add motion blur, add shakes, and of course color grading. I'll skip those parts here, but you can check this video's description for full tutorials on speed ramps, color grading, and shakes. Check how it looks after you finish all the steps. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.